In this video, I'm going to try and explain how to do a carousel image gallery. So we start again with create new design. And I'm just going to put that as gallery and create here. Okay, so that loads up like this. And we just move that away to the right hand side there. So again, go into uh, the studio and the search thing. Well, that's, this is the way I'm doing it anyway. I've already got the carousel there. So we just drag that over there. And this is basically your, uh, your pointers. And this is where your image, your images go. Uh, with this, I found this quite tricky to be honest. And what I'm uh, going to do is we we'll go up here and carousel at the top and I want um, I want these to be these images that I'm doing to be a similar size to this which is 1024 by uh, the height is 439 the, the width is 1024 I've already um, done uh, something around about that size they're not exactly right but there's just a few uh, cars and stuff so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the uh the images from there and import them uh, like this so import image here's your gallery folder you can call yours wherever you want and just uh, dry, uh copy and drag them and they uh, come up there uh how I did them at first was to uh, see these empty slides and thinking that you could edit them like this. But that just goes into your visible, uh, responsive, and so on. Um, go back to Carousel and use this. And the way to do this is uh, I would, I've never seen a tutorial on this on on the on the Bootstrap Studio's website. So anyway, you double click this. And you just, uh, the first one's got to be a motorbike. Okay. And so again, go to carousel. This is what I use. And just, there you have your first image, which is a numbered image, this, and it's a JPEG. So that's there. So where the empty slide is, is just uh, at the side there, that left bit there. Just drag that up. And there you have that. And then just double click and then go for the train. Oh, in my my case, train. Okay, so that's basically what you have there. And again, back to the carousel or image gallery, wherever you want to call them. And again, just go right at the top of the empty slide, double click. And this time it's going to be a mini. Pop that in there. And Again, use this carousel. And here is, you can add as many as you want. So we're just going to, there's three by default. I'm going to add this next one. And I'm going to just drag that up the top there. Uh, double click on it. And I'm going to put this MG in there. Okay. So there we have that. So on here, we we'll go up to preview. Up the top there. Uh, preview is open browser. And mine's Google Chrome. So you're going to have this here and you have there, as you've seen probably as many times on the net as, as these there. So you're going to have a motorbike, a train and mini. These are elongated, so they're not really exactly right. I'm just giving a demonstration of the sizing and, and so on. However, this is not really ideal for me. I, I don't particularly like this because it's too much on the left hand side. It, it works when you do it in mobile. That would work perfectly when you start uh, going across the page. And then you come to, say, something like, might be a large tablet or uh, certainly on PC and laptop. That doesn't really work. That's too, to the, too much to the left. So uh, we just pop into the smart CS, uh, CSS editor. And... Uh, what I'm going to do there is uh, with just IMG because there's no other images on this one. This is just a, a demonstration. If you've got a website with lots of images, uh, just make your images uh, with an idea or a class of what you're going to um, 
edit anyway. You don't need to on this one because it's it's I haven't got any other uh, other pitches on here. So anyway, margin uh, left auto margin right auto. There you go, and I'll just save this and I'll save that as uh, gallery and the gallery folder there and save that anyway so here we have uh there it is now so before it was over to the left and now it's central so there you have that so you just go and everything's central nothing over to the left with that one so you're just using your margin left and your margin rights with that. So I hope, uh, hope you found this beneficial and uh, thanks for watching.